Hey guys, here for another Emphatic Fury War Recap. Week 2 of this Highlight League uh, for CWL. Uh, we got Marchor Blanc. Uh, those are the French White Walkers. And yeah, we got defeated. Um, we got a really great start. Uh, checking the stats, you can see R9s uh, just wrecked. Uh, <laughs> Their basis on this on this one, uh, we managed to have uh, scouts for all tens, even elevens. We even tried uh, nine v eleven. Um, but then uh, we were we used five hits uh, on ten v eleven, only getting one of those, and they went uh, perfect there. Two out of two, uh, really amazing job for them. Um, also, we tried to to get um, an 11 v 11, and we couldn't make it. And we, we just stayed a bit short on the 10 v 10, only getting one. They got two, so uh, nice win for Marcheur Blanc. Congratulations on uh, this one. And um, of course, I selected the the replays uh, for you. I hope you enjoy them. So on our side, you can see uh, our 11s with two stars. They left uh, Mick uh, not tripled uh, on their side. Two stars on the 11s. Uh, these two, 92, 91. Uh, really close, but we couldn't end it up. Also, this one, 61. Uh, I believe had more, um, more hits, but yeah. That was the story. So on this one, uh, we have Mick, Mick Kuba, Mick. <laughs> Starting here with some uh, archers uh, around. Uh, we'll also use some minions to get uh, free percentage out of range of the defenses. As you can see, uh, a 10v11 hit is always a uh, a hit where you need uh, the percentage that you can get. So, uh, so starting here with a uh, golem tanking for Archer Queen, Wizard and Baby Drag uh, funneling and clearing uh, as the golem is uh, distracting, using two Vox to help uh, and to make sure uh, Archer Queen would have a great value at uh, at eight o'clock, as you are seeing. So Archer Queen clearing all of that side, getting the Grand Warden. And then uh, with the help of that baby drag, we'll move towards the, the Eagle. So uh, really valuable investment there for the, the Archer Queen with that uh, golden head. Archer Queen even uh, um, shooting that uh, bomb tower, almost taking it. And then another golem tanking for a big group of Vox with BK. Starting there with a Rage Heal. And then Poison for the CC troops. And then another Rage Heal. Uh, just there and right there in the car. You can see some troops move the, to the, the side compartments. We'll get more percentage. And then some baby drags all around with the help of a wizard. Get, getting even more percentage. So... Uh, even an archer up there. Really nice, uh, nice job here for Mick. We tried this one 9v11, <laughs> ended up uh, on a 46 percent. Percent, yeah. But um, uh, great, uh, great 10v11 here with a good percentage. As you are seeing, uh, and then finally ended up on 67. But a great job for Cuba. Our 10v10, uh, it was an early one here by Ino. Ino in Sun with a, with a Bowler Witch attack. He's a great specialist with this strategy. Uh, so you will see two minutes uh, for this uh, for this raid. So he starts with uh, Archer Queen 
at 12. Uh, two columns down, which is at 9. So he wants Archer Queen to walk the side 12 towards 3, which is on the side 9 towards 6. Big group uh, in the middle of those uh, from 10.30. Nice rage in the entry with a heel. BK on the Archer Queen, another rage, early rage there to keep uh, the ballers quickly uh, getting those single infernos. Uh, poison spell, maybe a bit late, but uh, will distract the single inferno. So the golems, uh, the golems, the <laughs> the ballers will end up uh, clutch baller there. Giant bomb on the left side, uh, getting some of those uh, ballers. But Archer Queen, as you can see, in the right side, doing a great job. Some ballers in the in the middle. Uh, tanking for the Archer Queen, and uh, this space was uh, wrecked at this point. He, he had uh, wall breakers, I think he forgot them, <laughs> but anyway, he wrecked this space. Just check the amount of witches that made it till the end only two huts. So, Archer Queen goes for one and the remaining troops to the other. Nice job for Eno. And uh, now I have uh, four Town Hall 9v9 hits. Starting here with Bobo. So he starts with uh, a couple of uh, minions funneling at 8. Golem Town with wizards to yeah golem and a and a hog just to speed up things poisoned on those CC troops uh, wizards there to to take them out maybe drag funneling on the other side and a couple of hogs but they will not uh, long last but uh, Nice tanking for those wizards to doing to do work. Wizards behind BK also. So a nice Kiwi moving towards three, clearing the way and funneling so Watcher Queen can get into the base, getting access to that uh, bomb tower and expo. Really nice. Then starting hawks from three, reinforcing from 130. They all converging on the nice hill. Arch Queen still doing work. Helping there with the expo. Very nice. And then another poison. Really well placed there. Some hogs flying with the springs. But at this point this base was uh, kind of wrecked. Hogs working on the on the skellies. <laughs> That's the first swag poison. Helped uh, taking out a couple of skellies, but nothing more. And then uh, nice swag heal here for Bobo. Kuba on fire. <laughs> nice one. Moving down. Nemesis with the Queen Charge Hogs. So he starts with uh, some archers funneling and the minion. Archer Queen at 2, aiming to break into the 3 o'clock compartment by that mortar. So she moves the right way. Test wall breaker and then some more to open the wall. Those wall breakers just load the CC. Valk 
and the dragon Arch Queen with that rage taking care of the CC Meanwhile he sends DK with a couple of wizards at 9 so kind of a little QE He wanted to take BK with BK that he will get Archer Queen creating a nice funnel so Hawks start from 5 two big groups of Hawks first heal down uh, reaching the expo nice some Hawks reinforcing at 7 and 8 another heal Archer Queen beating the wall he still had the CC he sent it from 10 so lots of hawks clearing cleaning troops uh, with their down those defenses will send no chance with this amount of hawks they split into two groups joining again together some hawks flying of course for the sprint trap and then big group ending on the on the wizard tower arch queen in the core without using the ability and then you can see nice poison and heal swag so nice job for nemesis also with this swag taking out this this space next one Hey child, I guess it's bad intentions. Starting with a couple of with a couple of wounds just to funnel, getting to defenses and creating a nice funnel so the wizard can make a funnel at four. Two golems into the Tesla farm, test wall breaker and then some more wall breakers to open the wall really nice funnel there then jump leading to the archer queen giving access to to the expos also and the, right there the core so rated bowlers really delayed bk that's nice then a heal and then another jump so this was a stone hobo starting some hogs on the tail of the defenses on both sides as the kill squad is now dealing with the CC Skelly spell also nice getting that poison and then hogs converging with the kill squad reinforcing with some hogs and cleaning troops and this base was done but a really nice nice job with that great funnel nice archer for the corner hut and cleaning going I keep clicking pause instead of two times button. <laughs> so one more. We will finish with Skullich. I think it's Hannes. This will be a, a cool one. Uh, this was a fresh hit. <laughs> so surprise, surprise, Tesla 12. It's not the, the only troll Tesla, but not uh will not do it so i think he wanted archer queen to move towards archer queen but uh, she moves to that camp and now after uh, shooting at that um, mortar will go around yeah that cannon will go around i don't know maybe he wanted her to to move this way so he will uh, suicide bk on the archer queen 
you can see the range of the archer queen but uh, it has um, the wall so he sends uh, wizards behind it's a kiwi poison for the archer queen and a couple of hawks just to, to distract and take those uh, defenses and then BK with the help of those wizards taking out Archer Queen <laughs> really nice adaptation so he sends a hog that hog uh, just took the those skellies and then he starts a big group of hogs from 8 and reinforcing with CC hogs from 10 so one heal down being really patient there on the other one we'll use it on the bomb tower of course nice thing CC hounds uh, going behind the hogs so Archer Queen is uh, is doing work on the other side and uh, at this moment Hawks taking the, um, the Skellies and Skellich also with a nice poison and heal swag yeah uh, amazing job for the nines too bad we couldn't win this one uh, we really ended up short on the tens but um, yeah i hope we have better luck on the next one anyway good job very effective uh, Marshal Blanc on this one uh, and yes yeah. everything ending on the CC Castle <laughs> with the hound finally popping I hope you have enjoyed the replays see ya on the next one